Hey guys, I'm Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's what's going on this week. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is GV Mobile Plus. Now you should remember this as the Google Voice application that caused a lot of controversy a couple months ago when it was first accepted into the App Store and then pulled from the App Store when Apple changed its mind about third-party Google Voice applications. For those of you who don't know, Google Voice is a service that gives you your own phone number, visual voicemail, and text messages aside from your cell phone carrier. So this is good because you can use it on the computer and also you can use it over multiple devices and keep one phone number and one voicemail. We reported last week that the developer, Sean Kovacs, tweeted that the application could be back in the App Store after he contacted Apple, and we're happy to say this week it's happened. Apple has just given word that the application is indeed approved, and it should be in the App Store probably by the time you watch this video. So if you're interested in Google Voice, go check it out now. Okay, moving on, Adriana got to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab in New York over the weekend. Now this device has a 1 GHz processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, which is double the RAM of the iPad, Android 2.2, Adobe Flash 10.1 support, and a front and back facing camera. Not to mention, the 3G version of this device will be available on all four major US carriers. Now, just going off the spec sheet, this thing seems to be an iPad on steroids. So I wanna know what you guys think. Are you gonna stick with the iPad or jump ship and maybe pick up a Samsung Galaxy Tab when it becomes available? Keep in mind that the iPad 2 should be coming out sometime soon. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Okay, so as you all probably know by now, the updated iOS 4.1 has been available for the iPhone for about a week now. One of the things that people were looking forward to most in this update was the proximity sensor issues. Unfortunately, a lot of iPhone 4 users were experiencing some difficulty with the proximity sensor, saying that it wouldn't turn off the screen when you were calling people and you would accidentally press things with your face. Ooh, sorry, how rude of me. Hello? Oh, hey. Hello? I muted it! Speaker phone? I hung up? <gasps> the first trailer for Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 1 comes out on September 22nd? Okay, well I'm happy to say that it seems as though the update did fix proximity sensor issues. You can check out Jennifer's post for more details, but basically she says that after a couple of do-it-yourself fixes that failed, she was kind of discouraged with her shiny new iPhone 4. But after this update, she is confident that the proximity sensor issues have been resolved, and she is going back to talking to people. The update is available through iTunes right now for free, so if you haven't picked it up for your phone yet, definitely go do so. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is iOS 4.2. This is significant because it's the first iOS 4 build that supports the iPad. Now, among things like multitasking and folders, one thing that a lot of people have wanted is wireless printing. Developers have had their hands on the iOS 4.2 beta for a couple days now, and testing it out, they say everything works great except for one thing. According to Apple Insider, developers have to be running Mac OS 10.6.5 for AirPrint to work. Now remember that this is just a beta and things are subject to change, and let's hope they do because if AirPrint is only available on Macs, that would be a huge disappointment for the, all the loyal iOS fans out there who happen to have a PC. Okay, I have some good news for anybody living in China. The Wi-Fi only iPad is coming to your country on September 17th. Which means, it should have already been there. So, yay, go get your iPad. The 16 gigabyte version will be 3,988 CNY, or 589 US dollars. The 32 gigabyte version will be 4,788 CNY, or 708 US dollars. And the 64 gigabyte model will be 5,588 CNY, or 826 US dollars. Okay, anyone with an iPhone 4, listen up. Apple has confirmed that their free case program will end on September 30th. So if you haven't signed up to get your free case from Apple yet, definitely go do that. It's super easy. All you have to do is download the application from the App Store, choose the case you want, and wait for it to come in the mail. And if for some reason you have some sort of moral objection to a free iPhone case, I will be happy to take it off your hands. My address is... And finally, I have a story for you that is... Awesome. Apparently, while trying to come home from Japan, Steve Jobs was stopped in the airport for having ninja stars in his bag. Ninja stars. I mean, come on, Steve. Really? <sighs> I'm just joking. Unfortunately, a statement from Apple confirms that the only true part of that story was that he went to Japan. But still, how awesome would that be? Okay, well, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, for more news, views, and reviews, 
definitely check out todaysiphone.com.